Alright, so to any of my uh, long-term viewers, you all know that I'm uh, sort of a fan of crossover games. Uh, I sort of stick to Windows for playing games, for the most part, unless I can get a Mac version. Uh, but I do like tweaking around with uh, crossover games and doing uh, things that, you know, most people think is impossible. And one of those things is that uh, I've actually managed to get Battlefield Heroes to run without needing to hack Punkbuster or whatever it uses. Uh, I can connect to the servers and it doesn't boot me out. I've tried three times now. Stayed in the server for two minutes each, and it didn't kick me out, and if Punkbuster was going to kick me out, it was going to be after 10 seconds. Usually, always. I've been kicked out before, but I decided I would try out uh, Battlefield Heroes using a new method, and I just decided to give a shot just to see if it would work. And um, I haven't actually tried it in uh, Crossover 8 and in Snow Leopard, which I am in uh, right now. I'm in 10.6.1, as you can see right here. So I decided to give it a shot, and I thought I would tell you guys how I did it, um, how I got it to install. It doesn't run perfectly. Uh, I have issues. I like running it in uh, widescreen, so I'm running 376 by 768. That's the resolution I play the game at. Uh, but if I played at that resolution in crossover, I can't run it at max settings like you can in Windows. So I played at medium settings, but it still runs relatively fine. I mean, I may lower to low just to see how well that runs, but um, it does. It's it's playable at the very least. Maybe you don't want to be a sniper, but whatever. Um, so the first settings I did to uh, try getting this to work is I ran crossover. Or, uh, I uh, ran wine config right here. We launched that, and I did this for Guild Wars to uh, get Guild Wars to perform a bit better. But uh, it I think it helped out in this in the end. I'm not certain, but I think it did. Um, all right. So in the graphics tab, I basically just disabled all of these. I did not have an emulated virtual desktop. I did not have a window manager control the windows. I did not have it decorate the windows. And I didn't have this top one enabled for DirectX controlling your mouse. All of these were disabled. And I think this helped out a bit to make it recognize that you're in Windows a bit more. Uh, at least on the installation part. I, I, I keep these on for playing the game, but I was having trouble installing the game. And then when I disabled all these, it let me install it to figure that out would have a, a beneficial impact. And another thing I did, which I'm not going to even close one config, is I went up here to uh, run command, and we're going to type in reg edit to go to your registry editor. And uh, let's make this full screen. And in here, in HP uh, current user, I went to software, wine, direct 3D, and I enabled direct draw renderer to open GL, use GL SL to disable, and video memory size to that of my video card. Uh, I found these on the wine forums, and I think they also helped, and that's what I did to set this up. Next thing I did is I launched uh, Firefox, which a lot of people recommend using Firefox 3.5. I use 3.04 because it's an older version. I figured they would better support an older version, and I just figured that would work a bit better. So uh, let's launch this. Don't. Uh, so I've heard people say run it in safe mode, but that disables your add-ons, so I don't know why they say that. Um, if you run it in safe mode to play the game, uh, it'll basically make you reinstall the add-on every time and you'll never be able to get it to work, so I never do that. I um I have my homepage set to uh, the battlefieldheroes.com slash play now. Uh, so just so it automatically loads up to the play now button. And I did this because if you go to the homepage, uh, the flash, for whatever reason, uh, speaks out my CPU and I can't do anything. It takes forever to get the play now working. So I just have it be my homepage. And I need to log in, but it'll work. Logged in. I'm letting it load. There we go. I should just launch it. I've already left it in installed. I'm not going to tweak it or any of that. Um, again, it's odd that Punkbuster is actually allowing me to play the game online. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, maybe it's just some October update and maybe it'll be gone next month. I don't know. Uh, because they are doing the Halloween stuff. So, next, I, uh, I just open up a new tab and minimize it so that, that Firefox uses the least amount of CPU possible. All right. Pick one of my characters. I guess I'll go with Sergeant Gunner. Takes a bit of time to load up. Uh, the only issue with the game uh, that I've run into is that when you go out of a server or out of any game, uh, all right. When you go out of any game, it's this this menu will be messed up and you'll have to relaunch Battlefield Heroes, which is sort of annoying. Uh, I hope that gets fixed in the future. So as you can see, my options is run 1376 by 768 at 60 hertz, and I'm actually running on low settings. My bad. Um, doesn't look the prettiest, but you know it'll work. Let me see. I think I have my mouse 
set up right. Okay, there we go. All right, so everything's set up. Let's just play now. As you can see, my tutorial mode is not enabled. I'm going right to a server. And uh, it takes a bit longer to connect to a server. Um, so you can watch the loading screen now. I'm not going to talk during this. So here we go. I'm in the game. There's all the people in the game. It's running a bit worse than it usually does because I am recording my screen with this. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get a kill at all, but uh, whatever. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh! I got an assistant kill, though. That's it. Well, that, that's a bit odd. Apparently, I'm fighting a Templar Knight. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a bit jittery. Uh, the, the biggest issue I'm running into is that in Mac OS X, the uh, mouse accelerator is a bit wonky, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and they broke any fixes for that in uh, Snow Leopard. There was a fix for it in uh, Leopard and Tiger, but not in Snow Leopard, which is rather odd. Hmm, apparently there is an issue with my connection. And uh, this is not Punk Buster. If it was Punk Buster, it would tell me right away. Um, this right here is the fact that my internet's been kicking off all night. <laughs> Which, as you can see right here, uh, if it was a Punk Buster issue, it would have popped up with a red error message saying Punk Buster. Uh, the issue is that I've been losing internet connection every 20 minutes for the entire night. Uh, I was hoping it would not kick off during, or like, turn off during the middle of a recording a video but you saw right there that it did work just fine and I did exactly what I just said right there um, I'm not you know there's no light nightlies out for the moment we just uh, close this close Firefox uh, there's no nightly out but for uh, crossover games at the moment I mean all I'm using is 8.0 exactly uh, and I did exactly what I just said right there I ran it exactly like I, uh, I, I stated I ran the registry editor all of that and it worked just flawlessly uh, but uh, as I said I'm losing internet all night tonight um, I, I'm guessing I use AT&T DSL I'm guessing they're running some uh, some man like fixing it fixing their net or running some uh, uh, programs on it just to test their net I guess because it's, it's 248 a.m. at the in the morning so I guess they don't figure anyone's actually up online and they're just um they're tweaking their service or whatever. I don't know, but uh, if it was, if you can ask anyone in the in the crossover forums, if it was Punkbuster, a red message would have popped up saying some error, and it said that Punkbuster kicked me out of the game. I did not get that error, so I did lose my internet. And that's why I got kicked out of the game. But it does work flawlessly. This method, uh, if anything, this will help you get it installed, and then you can run the Punkbuster Punkbuster method from the uh, website. But um, yeah, it installs just fine. Game runs fairly well. I'm going to become an advocate on uh, cross on uh, code weavers, and I'm going to give this a silver rating, just because I cannot get uh, just because it is it is a bit difficult to run, and I uh, can't get it to run at max settings without some choppiness. So, yeah, it runs very very well now. Uh, I remember back in the days where it wouldn't even launch. So, uh, you know, good one, code weaver. You guys have done an amazing job of getting this game to work.